Uh, yeah. It's okay. I just hope I don't have a cough attack in the middle of this. <clears throat> I'm okay. It's just like a dry cough. Okay. Three, two, one. Good morning, I'm Hannah Conrad. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving weekend. Here's a brief news and sports update. He's been on the run for a month now, but tonight, Tony Whitehead is back behind bars. He tried to run from the police today, but was taken into custody in the whole community. As you may remember, Whitehead was caught on surveillance video stealing a wheelchair and walker that belonged to a disabled 10-year-old boy. Later, police say Whitehead sold both items at a scrapyard. As we reported last week, Good Samaritans Michael and Rose Hopkins saw our report and donated a new wheelchair and walker for the little boy. Tony Whitehead is now charged with felony theft. He has been booked into jail over 30 times since 1995. A pair of juvenile defenders are now adults, and that's how they'll be charged after authorities say that they escaped from the Tuscaloosa Juvenile Detention Center. 18-year-old Rayshawn Taylor and 17-year-old Jaquan Britton re were recaptured shortly after police say they escaped. They were caught still in their orange prison clothing. They're back in jail tonight and now facing new charges of escape. And just in time for the holiday shopping, the annual Trouble in Toyland report is out. It warns that the toys could hurt your children, and one of the biggest concerns is slime products. Popular slime products that toys contain what the report deems dangerously high levels of boron. Boron is used in detergents and rat poison. However, a chemical expert says the type of boron used in the slime has low toxicity levels and that children would have to eat multiple containers of slime before there would be any danger. And Alabama wrapped up its regular season on Saturday with a dominating win over longtime rival Auburn. The weather was perfect, the crowd was loud, and the Crimson Tide ran roughshod over the Tigers with a final score of 52 to 21. The number one Crimson Tide has now on, set its sights on the SEC championship game against the Georgia Bulldogs in Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium on December 1st. Alabama remains one of four teams planning to be in the postseason championship playoffs, along with Clemson, Notre Dame, and maybe Georgia. That's all for now. I'm Hannah Conrad, delivering a horrible news report. Thanks for watching and have a great day.